beautiful weather on the way for the next couple of days. Really after our early morning storms this morning, rest of the day Tuesday was gorgeous and very pleasant weather for the rest of this week and going into Easter weekend. We're under clear skies now. All of our storms and clouds are well off to the east and for the night tonight we'll stay under clear skies with a lot of sunshine to begin the day, but a disturbance out to our west will start setting in some passing clouds at times, mainly during the afternoon and into the evening. Now, this is really one of the few models trying to bring in some light showers. If we were to see anything, I think it may be a little bit more to our west as at the same time we'll get this little disturbance. We're going to have a reinforcement and even drier air reinforcement being a weak cold front that will bring in even drier air. So I really think the air is going to be too dry to allow any of those showers to actually reach the ground. So going dry, but it does look like maybe some passing clouds for the second half of the day on the Thursday or excuse me Wednesday and then plenty of sunshine as we get into Thursday and Friday going toward good Friday mostly clear out toward downtown at the moment and it's been fairly mild 64 degrees dew points in the 50s right now and winds light out of the southwest at three miles an hour winds have been kind of all over the place 50s and 60s on the map right now and the dew points are going to drop a little bit during the overnight. We're really going to get that surge of drier air dew points 40s and possibly even some upper 30s that really doesn't arrive until later tomorrow. There is a front just off to our west. It might actually be a little bit more east of that right now. What's going to give us this push is a system that is still well out west. So this doesn't really move through until later in the day tomorrow. And then that drier air settles in for the rest of the week. But by Saturday, we already have a southerly wind and that starts bringing back the humidity. So a little more humid on Saturday, a little more humid by Sunday and more so than anything else. It won't be as comfortable, but I wouldn't describe it as muggy this weekend. We're going to be much warmer near 80 degrees on Saturday and likely lower 80s for Sunday. Very light wind, almost a non existent wind overnight tonight. And with the clear skies and lowering humidity, we will be getting a little bit cooler. Here's the system I'm talking about. This is what we're waiting to push through. The base of this upper trough does have a little disturbance embedded within it, moving toward uh, West Texas now and the panhandle. This feature is what will bring us the cloud cover during the day tomorrow. And again, not much I think in the way of any rainfall, but we may see a few showers off to our west. Clouds pass by during the second half of the day on Wednesday and then by late Wednesday night, early Thursday, we're back under clear skies. And again, we've got that next front that'll move on through, which will help to lower the humidity a bit more as we go later in the day. I went upper 40s for the North Shore. I'm thinking more 50s generally both sides of the lake. The humidity isn't dropping as fast as I thought it would, so we'll say 50s overnight and to start the day tomorrow. Then during the day tomorrow, partly sunny skies. We'll see again plenty of sunshine, but at times a little bit more cloudiness rolling through and around 73 degrees. Gradually, especially later in the day, becoming less humid once that second front moves on through. Then a cooler morning on Thursday, 40s and lower 50s, and a high maybe struggling to get to 70 degrees. Good Friday, beautiful weather starting to turn a little more humid on Saturday and more so Easter Sunday. Yes, we'll be in the low 80s, but staying dry this coming weekend and our next rain chance not really until the middle part of next week. Not bad. Thank